I remember now. I remember everything. We used to be humans. Normal humans. Just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons. So they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Eventually they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm Number Seven. I'm. I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. This is number six. She's my sister. Oh, boy. This thing is alive. And I feel like I had to fight it. My sister is the greatest weapon ever made. And... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up... ...my original self becomes lost. I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No! Wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have to get him out of there, now! I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. <laughs> Hurry! There's still time to save! I know there is! Magic is the only way to damage this one. Stay your weapons. Such attacks will hurt Emil as well. How is magic any different? He is highly resistant to it. Then let's kill that thing with magic and get Emil out of there! Physical blow would doubtless harm the boy. We must use magic to defeat this beast. Thank you. 
We're coming for you. Come back to us. Are you all right? I'm still alive. I feel my sister's power inside me. I think I can control my abilities now. Yes, we're all quite pleased. Now get out here already. Just a second. I can't... I can't see very well. Ugh. No, don't! Don't look at me! Emil, what's wrong? Stay back! Good. God. <laughs> Welcome back, Emil. You've been through a lot. But my... My body... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. Now what I tell you, we're here for you, no matter what. <laughs> You look 
look really cool. <laughs> right. I think I'm okay now. If this is how I look now, then so be it. I was terrified at first, but it's not all bad, you know? I have the magic I wanted, and I can use it to bring Kaine back to us. Emil. We should hurry. I sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her. You know, in fear? I see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor. Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe... My mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... monster inside the closet. The beast approaches. Oh, I know. Let's kill it this time. How about, how about that? must have. How did it even survive these past five years? I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today! I saw it in this lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down!
There we go. Still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devila and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm so- This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. It never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Pupola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. Protected from the horror of the shades. <laughs> really, how can I blame Devil and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I 
I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. I feel confident the child still lives. Of course she does. you'd never talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, ho. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> all right. I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. The path above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How oh, excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. Thank you. 
they appear to be out at the moment. Calm yourself. Haste will only lead you to making an ill-timed mistake. An unstable heart is the worst armor one can have. No time for that, Vice. Gotta get to Yona! Thank you. 